in today's video, man, I want to discuss and talk about how everyone is entitled to the truth. Let's talk about it. to the most high y'all thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritful episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man there is a lot of shaming that a man will face when he tries to find out the truth and everybody is entitled to have the truth to receive the truth the most high y'all wants us to have the truth. But in this particular type of shaming that men face, I wanna talk about, you know, why? Why do men face this certain type of shaming? Man, there is shaming that doesn't get talked about enough when a man says, you know what? Man, I want a DNA test on that child. Now, a woman doesn't have to be shamed about this because a woman automatically has the truth. Because if that child did not, you know, or wasn't birthed from her womb and between her legs or C-section, she knows it's not her child or her kid, okay? But a man is forced to believe a woman's story. And I want you to think about this. Women need to hear me loud and clear. Man, if you are a woman that is not a virgin, when you met your partner, who you would like to think the, who you would like to think is the father of that child, I want you to realize that there could possibly be a mixed multitude depending on what you have done in the darkness. And no matter what you conjure up in your head, I know oftentimes women will try to use these calculators and, and things like that to try to sway the mind of a man, but that DNA has not lied yet when it comes to paternity. And oftentimes, you know, it sucks, man. It's sad for men to have to find out a woman will slip up in conversation. You know, she'll be moving recklessly. Somebody will tell that man something and he go get a, a, a DNA test or say, I want to get a DNA test. And automatically, you know, a man gets shamed for that. Women, you should want the man to have the same amount of truth as you. The problem comes in when a woman that has been moving in deception and a lie, you know, doesn't want the man to have the truth, but she will swear up and down that he's the father, you're the father, you know? And then we see this to where the results come out and these kids aren't that man's. And these women don't give no apology. You know, another one, you look at, uh, Kurt Franklin. Kurt Franklin went through this. His mama didn't tell him. He had to find out the hard way and she still didn't want to acknowledge the truth. Everyone is entitled to the truth and the truth shall set you free. Man, I'm not talking about all women, but man, there would be a rude awakening. It would be a humbling experience for women out here if if the government mandated, hey, we're gonna we're gonna make sure that these kids belong to these women. I'm talking about, okay, at the hospital, you're automatically getting swabbed. Automatically getting swabbed. The father and the child. We know the mother the mother doesn't need to be swabbed because of the process of birthing, the fruit of the womb. 
But the man, he had, I mean, he, oftentimes you have men out here that man say, man, the kid has my features, has all this. And they believe without doubt that that child is theirs only to find out that it's not theirs. How many times have we seen shows like Paternity Court where the man says, man, I just want the truth. If the child is not mine, I'm parting ways and I'm living my life. And if the child is mine, I'm going to continue taking care of it. It doesn't get any more, uh, it doesn't get any more fair or impartial than that. And then you'll have, you know, the plaintiff or the defendant saying, oh, no, you ain't no good man. And you ain't this and you ain't X, Y, and Z and blank, 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 yada, yada, yada crying and going on and then it come to find out man's not the father been raising these kids nine years ten years you know and then the first thing out of these women's mouth is not an apology is not thanking the man for all that he's done for kids that it's that's not his and once the truth come out it's further shaming it's you're less than a man if you don't raise these kids and you've got an attachment, but the attachment between a child and his father is not the same as a child and the mother. You know, there's a, there's a bonding moment of when the child comes out of the woman womb, she holds that baby. She knows it's hers. A man doesn't have that same that same bonding moment. You have men that have went through that whole hospital process thinking that the child is theirs. They signed that birth certificate only to find out later on in life that the child is not theirs. And then they have a legal battle on their hands to try to get their name removed off the birth certificate. Everybody is entitled to the truth. And this is a, this is a one-sided argument or stance because women don't have to go through this. A man can't put a baby on a woman. That's that's that, that that's not in our realm. That's not in our capability. I know oftentimes systemically a lot of these women that do stuff like this, they're caught up in this, they'll be fighting for equality, but I'm just showing you in one instance how we are not created equal. A woman can put a baby on a man you know, and, and that relationship, that bonding between that child and the man may be built on deceit, may be built on an all out lie. You know, maybe the woman was using these calculators and craftily thinking that, you know, she wouldn't get caught up and I slept with him this day and I slept with him this day. I know he's the father. Well, that's, that's what we call public math, doing math in public doesn't always work out when people are put on the spot and told to do math. But if we get to the scientific level and use DNA testing, that man will get the truth. Oftentimes men, let me know down in the comments of, of what, you've, what you've seen and what you've heard of. Man, I guarantee you, there would be an uproar. There would be an uproar, a humbling moment for women if they had a law saying all children will be paternity tested, especially in this Western uh, worldly culture that is unrighteous and wicked that we live in. There's a lot of rebellion going on. You know, we're not in the same time period as we were, you know, a uh, hundred years ago, 50 years ago. There's so much, so much access to unrighteousness via your phone that you have so many outlets to go out and commit all of this uh, fornication, sexual morality, adultery, and then be able to cover it up. But the word says, what is done in darkness will come to light. So today, man, I just wanted to, to share that with you because I often see it and I'm like, man, it sucks that man has to get shamed like that only to find out the truth and those kids aren't his. That could happen to any man out there that signed a birth certificate and, you know, that DNA could 
could reveal, wait a minute, there's some skeletons in that woman's closet that she didn't want dug up. And you'll realize if we start talking, if this, if this conversation goes forth and people start having this, con and if this conversation goes forth and people start having this conversation, you'll realize the women that generally have some skeletons in their closet are going to be the ones fighting against it because they don't want to lose the man, the good man that's been taking care of their kids and, and, and providing for them, being a father figure to them. Maybe it was a, uh, maybe it was a one night stand. Man, nobody really talks about how much a man will spend being a good provider on his kids. You know, whether that be uh, raising them, rearing them, you know, bringing them up to make sure they have the necessities, making sure they got a roof over their head, making sure they have needs. Some men have paid for braces, you know, first cars, all of this X, Y, and Z, only to find out your reward in the end is the truth. And all of us are gonna get the truth in the end, no matter if you uh, like it or don't like it. That's just the way it is. But there would be, you would hear a lot of pushback from particular women if this law was mandated, they're gonna say, oh no, we are, we are we're against that. And really what they're saying is, we're against a man having the truth. We're against a man that has been raising this child and been a father figure in their life. We don't want him to know the truth. Let him continue providing and doing this. It don't matter. That's their stance. And that right there is deceit. You know, that's rebellious. That's built on lies. And you know, it, it, it would suck for any man that has to go through that, but it happens, but it happens. Close to the Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun, barrel, straight.